Okay, welcome back. We've been talking about how to use a different way to explore the Python. The first one is to use the interactive mode, right? Kind of explore every single syntax or function. The second is for when you develop uh, your project, you write maybe a larger project you want to run in the full speed, right? So we need both, okay? Let's from the very beginning exploring. So uh, when you launch your terminal uh, command or the Mac you use a terminal mode, uh, you may want to uh, go to your uh, maybe your directory. Okay, uh, this is my Python uh, directory uh, where I can put my source code here, and I run the Python interpreter. Okay, now I'm in the interactive mode. Okay, actually, uh, do you see these three? Uh, actually, this three uh, arrow, uh, which means a prompt. Okay, the prompt, the Python are uh, ready to receive your command. Okay, okay, actually, prompt is this word, but the prompt here is not a legal command. Okay, it just means uh, okay, he, this three line, this three arrows. Indicating I'm ready to serve you. Okay. Um, every programming language have its uh, syntax and logic, but we have uh, generalized it into several categories. First, for example, you need to know how to write a variable and a different kind of data type, right? Conditional and repetition. How to write a function? How to write a comment? Okay, so here we want to deal with this. Okay, have a general idea from how to define a variable. Okay, so variable, of course, we use an English name. For example, i equals one. Okay, and you can do, uh, you can print that i, right? You can print that i. Uh, be sure to use a parenthesis. Okay, you will get the i. And another way to look at the i, the value, is actually simply type i. Uh, the Python will, uh, in this mode, will show the internal uh, uh, value. Okay. There's a different subtlety from this. Okay. The one is actually printed now. Uh, another is only work in the interactive mode. Okay. And of course, you can do the calculation. Uh, J equal I plus one. In Python, we don't actually need to declare a variable, declare the type, and then use it. You just simply use it. Uh, it's so convenient. Okay. So now I can I can see my J. Okay. And so obviously, uh, any kind of uh, cal math calculation you can do. For example. Uh, you can do this, okay? Um, you can do uh, divided by, um, for example, five. Okay, you got the zero point two. Okay, so uh, you can do this. Uh, I is one. Uh, I I plus maybe uh, maybe J three okay the power uh, of you will take uh, the uh, square root right not a square root like the power okay the cube okay and. So uh, there's a lot of uh, math calculation you can do, okay? Like this one, uh, for example, um, eight mode, mode, maybe three. Uh, by the way, this is uh, modular. Uh, you will take the remainder, okay? You will divide it by three and the uh, and uh, then return you the remainder of the result. So that is the basic calculation. You can calculate simply with the constant of the number. Uh, also, 
you can store it back to the uh, variable. Okay, so what is variable? Variable, of course, is a name that you give, uh, kind of use it to to store your value, the, the data. Okay, so here we have i j, right? It's a number, and one important uh, concept for the beginner, and you want to know the data type of the Python. So you can use uh, this uh, internal command, building command type. Okay, so you can see uh, the result shows the class int. Okay, int means an integer, uh, like one, two, three, four, five minus one is an integer type. Uh, compared to the uh, int, uh, you can now, uh, uh, for example, you can type a. Uh, 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 I minus f uh, divided by phi. You can see the f it's a flow type. Why? Because I is now the result I divided by five is zero point two. Okay, and zero point two uh, is not an integer. It's a real number, right? It's a it's a floating point number. Okay, we we call it a float. Okay, so basically integer type, flow type, quite common. What else we do we use normally use in uh, computer programming in Python? Okay, maybe you want to uh, say name. Okay, uh, uh, you want to type your your name, personal name. Okay, like uh, my name, Chen Hen Yu. Okay, okay. Here comes a syntax error because I type too fast. I forgot to uh, type the the single code uh, for the end of the string. Okay, so I'm going to retype it. Name. I'll be sure use to uh, single quote or double quote to kind of uh, in uh, kind of rabbit uh, kind of contain the boundary of the. Beginning and the end. Okay, so if you view a single quote as a beginner, okay, uh, you want to do this, okay, and then you can print it. You can print it, okay, or you just in the interpreter, interpreting mode, okay, you can show it, okay. A little bit difference. Do you notice? A uh, print it. Actually, you print the content. Uh, when you show it, uh, use the interactive mode, Python uh, will give you additional information indicating, okay, here is the actually the string, uh, a string. This is what we call a string type, okay. So you can type it, and it belongs to the class of a string. Okay, so we can do, uh, we can do the string, we can do the number, what else we can do? Uh, later on, we'll be learning uh, uh, how to do the condition. Uh, if condition, uh, of course, uh, we will involve the boolean type. So, what is boolean? Okay, uh, let's uh, let's see. Uh, you can do things like this. Uh, phi phi greater than three, right? Is five greater? Is five greater than three? Obvious. That's that's true, right? That's true. Okay. So if you do this, uh, Python will kind of evaluate the logic uh, about it. And this kind of the the result we call a boolean. The the answer will be yes or no. Okay. But we say true. Or false, okay. And by using checking this condition, if it's true, uh, we, if we do something else, we do something else. We call a conditional. This is a, a very important uh, uh, syntax in any programming language. Okay. So let's try. Uh, what about this? If I kind of uh, use this, uh, this this syntax, if Phi equals to uh, three. 
Obvious is false, right? So, uh, what about this? Uh, obvious is false. Okay. So, Boolean have a true state, true false, true false. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you can type an operator, for example. You will see B O O L B O O L. Uh, that's a that's a class in the Python. Okay, the data type in the Python. Okay, and uh, so boolean string and uh, number. Yeah, we have uh, this three common type is generally most fundamental, uh, most uh, uh, basic uh, data type in Python. Okay. Of course, you we we can have a more complicated data structure like a list, uh, set, tuple, or dictionary. Okay, type Python have this kind of uh, advanced data structure. Uh, they also use a, a class to implement it, but we'll leave on the later chapter to dis to discuss it about it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so different data type we can do the different operator. Okay, uh, for example, uh, let me show you uh, plus. Okay, we have talked about uh, this right. Uh, plus so five plus three equals uh, eight, right? But what about if you use a string five plus Three, you will find that uh, you got a trace back, uh, trace back, and uh, some kind of error message. Uh, so what is trace back? Uh, here you just consider Python uh, cannot cannot handle it. It's kind of uh, uh, your program stop there. Okay, it refuses to run it, uh, and it will show you some error. Uh, in this case, uh, they show you type error can only concatenate string, not the integer to string. Hmm. Yeah, uh, for the beginner, uh, it could be frustrating because uh, if, if you got the error and uh, you cannot understand what the error is, okay, the, from the plain English, uh, it goes frustrating. But just hang there, uh, keep going, uh, uh, maybe go for the online resources or check some of the Python book. It's quite normal. Uh, when you want to understand something, uh, the information give you a lot of, a lot of maybe the information, maybe too, too much, uh, way beyond you can understand. Okay. So here means uh, you are trying to do uh, string operator, okay, because uh, one part of the operand is five, but this five is not a number, it's a string, a uh, data type of string. And you try to add the string to a number, and the Python kind of confused about it, cannot, cannot handle it, okay. Uh, this is why, okay, uh, so what can we do? Uh, we now know that uh, uh, different type of sometimes a different data type cannot uh, work together with okay uh, so we need to uh, learn how to deal with this okay so let's test it okay if I change uh, 5 plus 3 okay oh sorry I I miss made a mistake okay I type the, the string type 5 plus string type 3 yeah, you see a totally unexpected result. You 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 got a result, but this result is a five three, not a fifty three, because a five as a string kind of add. Okay, I shouldn't have said it's add. It's kind of joined together or concatenated together. Okay, so if both side is a string data type. This plus is not an add. This plus means 
concatenate, joint, okay, kind of glue this string together, okay. If it's a phi, the, the, the another operand is also the number, okay. This one is number, okay. They will come, they will change their meaning of the operator uh, and do the right thing for you, okay. So be sure to uh, knowing how to use a proper data type, okay. But sometimes uh, when you a program is much more complicated, uh, that's uh, in the wrong time, and uh, you you forgot it, right? So always break down your program into to the small size and make sure every piece of the block is runnable. Okay. So now, to wrap it up, now we know there are three types. You can write a command. You can use a type to, to see the data type, okay? Integer type, flow type, and uh, string type, okay? Mm. What else? Can we, can we convert between those types? Yeah, there are some function you can do it. Uh, Let's see uh, if I want to convert, okay. For example, phi, I want to make it become a string. I can use this, okay. str, that's a building function, okay. Uh, so you will get the, a single quote. Uh, so on the other hand, if you want to do this, you want to convert, the string to back to back to the integer. Okay, you can do this. Okay. What about this? Yeah, if you want to convert a string to uh, to a floating, okay, they will put the zero even though it's a it's a integer in the beginning. Okay, so uh, five point three two two one. Yeah. And what about you made a mistake? For example, uh, you you do things, but you you write this. You convert the Python into float. <laughs> of course, it's way beyond uh, Python capability, right? That's a string, right? It's not a uh, string like a. <laughs> it's a it's a letter, right? Okay, so so be careful. Sometimes uh, you can do this. Sometimes uh, it's because of your thinking is weird. Okay, so that's our first uh, kind of exploring. Okay, about the uh, data type variable. Okay, uh, and the kind of uh, type conversion. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.